Hello, everybody. Welcome again to another quest session of one question a day. The question that we are going to discuss today is eruption and tooth eruption phases. Tooth eruption, as you know, is the axial or occlusal movement of the tooth from its development position within the jaw to its functional position in the occlusal plane. Very important is from its place of a developmental position to its place of functional position along the occlusal plane. The stages of eruption, we have pre-eruptive phase or pre-eruptive movements, eruptive movements and post-eruptive movements. The pre-eruptive phase is the tooth germ and the developing tooth apparatus undergo a bodily movement before they get it to the eruptive position. This is mostly a bodily movement. The bone surrounding the tooth germ undergoes rapid remodeling to accommodate the growing tooth germ. The permanent molar undergoes tilting movements to correct their inclination such that they fit inside the flaring and resorbing roots of the deciduous. Uh, sorry, permanent molars undergo tilting movements to their inclination uh, because they don't have any succinate or predecessor teeth. Things are different. The maxillary molars, there is a tilt mesially to accommodate the Developing premolars, mandibular molars, still distally, very characteristic. This is pre-eruptive movements, eruptive phase. The teeth developing move in the axial direction into the appear in the oral cavity and to contact its opposing tooth in the opposite arch. When the permanent incisors are erupt, they are seen lingually to the deciduous dentition or dentici deciduous incisor and come into proper position after the deciduous teeth are shed. The premolars erupt directly. This is followed by the canine too. The premolars erupt directly into their position because of the presence of a flaring roots of the deciduous molars. They are guided into eruption by a connective tissue structure believed to be as gabernacular cards. The post-eruptive phase. The teeth have to maintain its functional position as the jaw grows, modifies and bone remodeling is a constant factor and also to compensate for occlusal and proximal wearing of the formed tooth. The movement of the tooth to accommodate this is called as the post-eruptive phase and it is usually mesio-occlusal in direction. Therefore, this is also called as physiological mesial shift. Physiological mesial shift. So, when a tooth is extracted prematurely, mostly the tooth will move into that in a mesial direction. The distal tooth will move into the space and this is called as physiological drift. That is the clinical significance. So with that, the movements of the tooth eruption comes to an end.